Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day and staying safe out there. I have a Dynamics tutorial with a few different tips that you might not be aware of, so let's jump in. All right, so the simulation has a couple problems. Obviously, these coins are not falling into the bowl. And then also they're kind of flickering and jittering around. They never come to a complete rest. So one feature that you might not be aware of is that you can actually visualize what's going on here uh, in your dynamics. And you can do that by hitting Control D and that's gonna go to your project settings. You could also go to edit and project settings and go to the dynamics tab. And here are all the options for your dynamics. There's a visualization tab, which if you check on, you can visualize all kinds of aspects of your dynamics to sort of um, troubleshoot what's going on here. Now you'll notice that things are changing different colors and we also have these black dots that are bouncing around. Lots going on here, so let's take these one at a time. Let's uncheck everything. Let's turn on collision shapes and see what that does. And you can see that the bowl is changing color. I'll explain that in a second. We can also do bounding boxes, and that's gonna give us an idea of what kind of shell our dynamics are responding to. So you can see that this bowl has kind of a flat top right here, and that's why they're not falling in. And if we go back to our collision shapes and leave both of those on, you can see that we have a thin little insert uh, of this bowl, but it's not actually wrapping the entire polygonal object, and there's a cap on top of here. So we can change that by going to our dynamics tag on the bowl and go to shape. And if we change that to something like an ellipsoid, all right, so if we hit play, you can see that now we're having a ellipsoid on this bowl. Now it's kind of hard to see, so one quick tip is that if you don't wanna see these coins, you can go to the coin tag, go to the dynamics tab, and there's a show in visualization checkbox. Turn that off, and then you'll just be able to see the bowl. So now you can easily see the frame where the dynamics are hitting and then sliding down this ellipsoid. So obviously we don't want that, but we want static mesh. And if we do that, now you can see that the entire mesh is being calculated and now they're gonna fall through into the bowl. Now the other thing you'll notice is that it's turning from yellow to blue. Now the yellow, it means that it's calculating dynamics and when it turns blue, that means dynamics is done. So let's go back to our coins and turn back on the visibility and visualization. Let's hit play. You'll see that our coins are yellow. A couple of them are turning green and then a couple are turning turquoise, but they're not getting to that blue stage. So let's go to our bowl and turn off the visualization on the bowl so that we can see our coins better this time. And this is one thing I really like about this visualization tab is that you can see when your dynamics kicks off. So right now they're not kicking off at all, they're just jittering and that is definitely not what we want. So one thing that we can do is go to our coins and there's a deactivation section here. You can think of this as deactivating the dynamics. And if you crank this number way up, it's going to basically just stop all the dynamics. So we're just gonna go super extreme to kind of demonstrate this. So you can see now that they're green and then very quickly they hit blue and the dynamics are done and it's not gonna be jittering around. So that's super useful to know about. Now this is obviously a very harsh, abrupt ending, but what we can do is just keyframe this. So let's say that we want it to end maybe around uh, 110 frames. So we'll make a keyframe for these two, go maybe to frame 50 or so, and let's turn these back to zero. And now let's see what that looks like. So now they should fall and they should kind of set a little bit before they turn blue, which is gonna be much better. And then one last thing I wanted to mention was if you go to Control D and you go to your uh, visualization, let's turn off collision shapes and bounding boxes and let's turn on contact points. This is gonna show you all the points where the dynamics are colliding with another piece of dynamic geometry. So you can see that now we're flickering and then all of a sudden we're gonna to get to a halt here. It's a super handy way to troubleshoot what's going on and uh, to visualize what's happening with your dynamics. Hope you guys found that useful. And one last thing, if you're a Redshift user, make sure to check out our Redshift Mutating Materials Pack, the Metal Edition. The world is full of beautifully aged exotic metals, and you can nail that perfect patina using the 10 base metals that have varying levels of decay in this pack. Don't waste your time building all these elaborate shader nodes when you can just grab the perfectly aged texture from this pack and hit render. Learn more at thepixelab.net. Thank you for your support, and we'll talk to you next time. Ciao.